Are you struggling with any of these chronic inflammation symptoms? Insomnia or chronic fatigue? Persistent body or joint pain? Gut issues like constipation, diarrhea or acid reflux? Stubborn weight gain or loss? Chronic infections? Anxiety or no mood? If you answer yes, chronic inflammation might be the underlying cause affecting your PCOS and even your fertility. Hi everyone, I'm Bruce from Jensen. Welcome to our channel, where we explore the effective ways to manage and overcome PCOS. Understanding the root cause, it's important for taking action to reverse the problem. By addressing chronic inflammation, you can repair and reverse your PCOS naturally and boost your chances of achieving a natural pregnancy. Here are the top tips from Jensen specialists to help you tackle chronic inflammation and get pregnant without IVF. Are you ready? Let's start. So there are four common causes of inflammation in PCOS. Excessive heat, liver cheese stagnation, phlegm and dampness, and qi and blood stagnation. Today, we will focus on the first two. For more on the later two, stay tuned or reach out to us directly. The first one, excessive heat. In Chinese medicine, excessive heat refers to an over accumulation of heat in the body leading to inflammation, dryness, and uh, overactivity in various systems, which results in symptoms like redness, sweating, and discomfort. So this can stem from dietary factors, such as consuming spicy, fried, or processed foods, which generate internal heat and create excess yang in the body. Stress and lack of sleep can make the body's internal heat worse, leading to hormonal imbalance and more inflammation. In PCOS, high levels of antigens can also add to this feeling of heat and further increase inflammation. Symptoms include skin issues like acne and redness, digestive problems like such as heartburn and constipation, and menstrual irregularities like heavy or painful periods. So eliminating excessive heat in TCL involves cooling the body and clearing it, often through herbs like cool and clear and adjusting diet and lifestyle to balance internal walls. So the number two, liver chi stagnation. Liver chi stagnation occurs when the flow of chi, which is the vital energy through the liver meridians, is obstructed, causing an accumulation of heat and inflammation. So this can be caused by emotional stress, which disrupts the smooth flow of liver chi, a poor diet lacking in fiber or high in rich and fatty foods, and a sedentary lifestyle as lack of physical activity contributes to qi stagnation. Symptoms include mood swings such as irritability and anxiety, digestive issues like bloating and abdominal pain, and menstrual problems such as irregular periods and menstrual cramps. So TCM treatments for liver qi stagnation focus on promoting the smooth flow of qi and blood through acupuncture, herbs like chai pu, and lifestyle change to reduce stress and improve digestion. Okay, five things you can do right now to reduce inflammatory like PCOS. First one, acupuncture. So acupuncture is an effective treatment for inflammatory PCOS by inserting fine needles into specific energy points. It regulates inflammation and hormone levels. It increases blood flow to the ovaries and lower cortisol levels, both of which help reduce inflammation. Ensure your acupuncturist is certified and experienced. Jensen's practitioners, for example, have over 30 years of experience and are certified members of the British Acupuncture Council. Number two, the natural supplements. So natural supplements offer a, a holistic approach to managing PCOS symptoms by targeting inflammation, hormonal imbalance, and metabolic dysfunction. Ginseng overly supports a blend of eight herbs and vitamins, reduces stress, and supports reproductive health. Other effective supplements include spirulina mix and the PCOS, and irregular ovulation kits. So for more details and offers, please visit ginseng-linden.com. And number three, anti-inflammatory diet. So managing PCOS with an anti-inflammatory diet is very important. In Chinese medicine, foods like cucumbers, celery, leafy greens, and melons 
how smooth the liver. High fiber foods such as brown rice, oats, support digestion and keep the body balanced. Anti-inflammatory spices like turmeric, ginger, and garlic promote the flow of qi, which is vital for overall health. Additionally, omega-3 fatty acids found in salmon, flaxseed, and walnuts help reduce inflammation and nourish the body's energy or qi, which is essential for maintaining balance and vitality. Number four, reduce stress. So chronic stress elevates uh, cortisol levels, which can exacerbate inflammatory PCOS by lowering immune defense and increasing weight gain. So reducing stress through calming exercises, meditation, and spending time with your loved ones can lower inflammation, restore energy level, and minimize PCOS symptoms. So number five, six sports, a personalized approach in Chinese medicine tailors treatment to your unique needs. Addressing the root causes of inflammatory PCOS, professional advice can include herbal remedies, acupuncture, dietary recommendations, and lifestyle changes. So Jinsu offers free consultations to help you explore how personalized TCM can benefit your health. Empower yourself by implementing these strategies and taking control of your PCOS inflammation. Schedule free discovery call to learn how functional facility coaching can help you on your journey to becoming a mom. My clients are often amazed at how much they learn about their bodies and feel empowered as we work together to reverse the root causes of their fertility challenge. Have you tried any of these of the tips? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. For more insights on PCOS and fertility, so please explore my other videos filled with helpful tips and information. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and take care.